Check this out. Take a look, folks. I would say this is basically another Tom Mills drum. What you have there is the Holy Grail. The snare drum at the center of this story is said to be the inspiration that launched Ludwig and Ludwig into the world of making brass snare drums. In 1902, a 23-year-old William F. Ludwig played a snare drum competition along with Thomas Mills, who was a drummer with the John Philip Sousa band in the early 1900s. For those who are unfamiliar, Sousa ranks among the most famous American composers and is referred to as the March King. He is known primarily for American military marches. Among his best known are the Stars and Stripes Forever, Semper Fidelis, and the Liberty Bell. At the time of the encounter with Ludwig, Mills owned and played a European-made six and a half by 13 inch brass shell, separate tension snare drum, meaning that each head can be tuned independently, that he purchased in the year 1900. William Ludwig was said to be so blown away by the clarity and performance of that drum that he was determined to buy it from Mills. It took him a couple years, but he finally acquired it in 1904 for $3. In the early 1900s, very few metal snare drums were made in the U.S., and separate tension ones were non-existent. Even most of the wood ones were single tension drums. Here are some of the examples of American-made drums from that period. Henry Easel from the early 1900s. Easel was a drum maker in New York since 1862. Here's a good close-up of the single tension rods, which were indicative of that era of drum making in the US. Lion & Healy aluminum military snare drum from the late 1800s to early 1900s. 15 and a half by six. An 1892 Max Meyer & Brothers, Omaha, Nebraska. Seven tension rods, 13 and a half inch diameter. Lion & Healy early 1900s new departure model snare drum. This drum was featured on the Bearded Drums YouTube channel as a mystery snare. I'll link the full video in the description. It's possibly an early 1900s J.G. Richards & Company brand drum, but made by another manufacturer. Leedy, circa 1900 to 1910. I had to throw this one in. This is a one of a kind made by CG Khan, the company that will eventually buy Ludwig and then sell it back. It's a silver and gold engraved four and a half by 15 and a half drum, which was made for drummer H.M. Loomis, who played it at the Chicago World Fair in 1893. It has 20 single tension rods. The Mills drum itself is said to have no brand markings on it, but it is widely believed that the drum was produced by Johannes Link, born 1847 in a Bavarian village and who started a percussion instrument factory in 1875 called Trommel Fabrik Wiesenfels. It was located in Wiesenfels, Germany on the River Saal. This company changed its name to Sonar in 1907. With the Mills drum in hand and the formation of Ludwig & Ludwig still five years off in the future, William approached Ulysses G. Leedy from the Leedy Drum Company with the idea to manufacture an American-made brass shell separate tension snare drum modeled after the Mills drum. But for reasons unknown, Leedy passed on the opportunity. By 1909, William and his brother Theobald started the Ludwig & Ludwig Drum Company and were known primarily for manufacturing the first workable and practical drum pedal. For many of their other products, they were only distributors, but they had some exclusive lines, including Leedy drums and sound effects. But in 1911, they proudly started to advertise their own metal snare drums modeled after the Tom Mills snare. The drum was handed down from William F. Ludwig Sr. to his son, William F. Ludwig II who sold it to Harry Kangani in 1974. Harry owned and operated a drum shop in Indianapolis and started what is now the online drum forum. He also wrote a couple books on American drum companies. In 2001, he donated the drum to the National Museum 
of music in South Dakota, where it sits today. It's hard to know how many of these drums are out there in existence, but I'm aware of four. One is the Tom Mills snare that's in the museum. Two are said to be owned by master drum maker Adrian Kircher, and one owned by the guy in the opening clip that goes by the name of Choppy. I'll link the full video of Choppy in the description. As always, I welcome your thoughts in the comments, and thanks for watching. I played it, and immediately I, I broke the head on this snare drum. 